Alright, and welcome back everybody to part 3 in the conclusion of this Terrain Brush Palette tutorial. And today we are going to talk about the cliff, the foliage, and the water brushes. So, without further ado, let's just go ahead and get started and talk about the cliff brush. Go ahead and choose the cliff brush, and the first operation that you're going to see is going to be raised cliff. Uh, the only options that you're going to have are going to be the size. This just determines the size of the brush, and then you can choose uh, various shapes. You can have a circle, square, or diamond. Uh, I'll go ahead and go with circle just for the demo and uh, you've normally only got two types you've usually got a man-made looking cliff or a natural looking cliff uh, some tile sets do have more this particular tile the jungle tile only has two so I will just give you an example of both of those and uh, you can see here this is the normal tile and this is or the natural tile rather and it just attempts to look kind of natural. There's no uh, man-made metal or anything like that on the edges. And then if we switch over to the man-made cliffs, you'll see that we have this uh, rock concrete type uh, texture going around the outside of the cliff. So it looks a little bit more like something man-made. And uh, that's all pretty pretty self-explanatory there. I'm sure you probably were able to figure that out on your own, but uh, for the sake of uh, covering all the brushes accurately, I am going to go ahead and show them to you. So let's go ahead and move on into lower cliff, and this uh, does exactly what you think it's going to do. It's going to lower your cliffs, and this uh, can lower cliffs uh, down into the terrain itself, as you can see, uh, and get these, these gaps going. Uh, or you can just lower something that's already been raised and kind of use it as a pseudo erase tool and then uh, your next option is going to be same level cliff now what this is going to do is this is going to create uh, a cliff of the same level for the majority of the the tool or the brush rather so uh, for example if I have the brush covering most of the cliff and I click it it's going to create more of the cliff because the majority of the brush is the same level as the clip and if I if I make the majority of the brush uh, a lower level cliff it's gonna it's gonna lower so it's it's basically just gonna make the cliff height the same level as the majority of the brush and then our final option is gonna be ramp and this uh, just creates ramps on our cliffs and I'll go over here and show you this real quick and with this one you need to make sure that you have the mouse cursor uh, actually clicking on the place where you want the cliff to be placed uh, or the ramp to be placed so as you can see if I if I click if even though the brush is covering the edge of the cliff there if I'm not actually clicking on it with the mouse nothing's happening so I need to make sure that the mouse is on the edge of the cliff and then I can click it and I'll get a ramp just like that so uh, pretty easy there and then you've got remove ramp which just like add ramp is going to remove the ramps you just have to click in the same spot where you place the ramp so that's going to do it for the cliff brush and let's move on to the foliage brush and moving right along into the foliage brush uh, we'll just quickly go over this uh, now this is going to seem confusing at first because you're going to have this white film over your entire map and uh, basically what this white film is, is uh, the areas where foliage will be created with the foliage tools. So um, anywhere that this white fog is, is where uh, foliage is going to be generated when you click generate foliage. So uh, what you can do is you can hold shift and click and you can create, you can basically create uh, patches where there is no fog or erase the fog, however you want to look at it and uh, these areas that are open with no fog uh, there will be no foliage generated as you will see I'll go ahead and click generate foliage now it's going to create foliage across the rest of the map entirely so you really need to be careful when using this tool and make sure that you've uh, gone over the entire map and uh, you know blotted out where you do not want foliage to appear uh, because as you can see it's just everywhere and you can't simply erase this or undo it you have to use the foliage tool to get rid of this foliage so it can create a lot of work for you if you're not careful but the tools are here to uh, in fact get rid of it so um, now you could 
knowing knowing about holding shift which it doesn't actually tell you in the editor that you can do that uh, you can carefully place your foliage and not have to use the remove foliage tool but I will go ahead and go over it it basically does the same thing it's just instead of holding shift you just click the mouse and it's gonna get rid of white patches but what this allows you to do is in a case like this say I put down too much foliage uh, this entire area that I'm erasing this white film from is going to lose its foliage when I go back and click generate foliage again. Now it's going to have to recalculate and it's going to take a few moments for everything to compute at least on my computer so you'll have to be patient with it. And you should definitely be careful with this tool because you don't want to have a lot of unnecessary foliage in places that people aren't going to be able to see. Uh, you have to keep that in mind when you're making maps is there's going to be a lot of areas that players just aren't going to see. And those areas just don't need to be decorated or have extra polygons to be rendered and things to be kept track of. So that's pretty much your uh, foliage brush and we're going to stop here and we're going to move on to the water brush. Alright, and moving right along to our final brush, we're going to talk about the water brush, and this brush is pretty self-explanatory. You just choose a water tile type that you want to place, and you just click it into the map. Now, you can't set the brush size, so you're stuck with the default, but you can uh, easily just hold the mouse down and drag and make a nice big water area quite easily. And uh, to remove the water, you just simply click the remove water operation, and just drag it over it just like an eraser and away it goes and your hotkeys uh, for this particular section are going to be uh, W which is going to turn your water off so hit W to turn the water off or on now if you keep it off this is uh, useful it helps reduce lag in the editor because you're not having to process all the reflections and all that kind of stuff so you but you still get this nice green border so you can tell where the water is and then you can turn it on when you need to spot check it and you can also edit water and when you click the edit water button you're going to get all sorts of options you can change the height of the water you can um, the specularity specular scale the reflection the reflectivity just tons of options here you can even change the flow rotation uh, the flow rates so you can make the water look like it's moving faster um, all sorts of cool stuff like that so uh, pretty much whatever you want to do with the water uh, you're, you've got some some really good options there and then your your view is pretty simple you can view the water tiles either in a tree or a list view um, since there's not really a whole lot for this tile set uh, I, I prefer the buttons so uh, that, that's pretty much it for water and thanks for watching this tutorial and uh, I know a lot of you guys have been commenting that some of this stuff is, is really easy and basic and uh, that's kind of the point you know um, this tutorial was geared towards uh, entry-level users who have never used the galaxy editor so you know just stick around in the future and look for some more advanced tutorials uh, coming down the line I'm probably gonna stick to terrain editor tutorials for now but if you have some requests uh, feel free to leave a comment and I'll see what I can do about that and as always uh, stop by clan TDG uh, stop by our forums and check out some of the other tutorials that are going on we've got a lot of uh, trigger tutorials and uh, how to make heroes and all kinds of stuff going on so stop by and check those out and thanks for watching guys my style is UFO. Totally unknown, you can't fuck with my new Z flow. I'm hard to miss. You grow to this, you grow to that. You fuck a new set, so I do it a lot. Too hot to handle, too cold to hold. You can't fuck with the chosen one. I, 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 I want to knock your armor, ninja.